welcome to the third episode of Lockdown Reviews, the channel that reviews apps, gear, books, music, audio and visual. In this third episode, we are going to look at the Echo Auto. I am one of those sad people that likes talking to their light bulbs, their central heating system, their light switches. I said light bulbs, haven't I? I talk about plug switches. Uh, and now I have got the tool to talk to my car. So we're going to look at the Echo Auto, which came out in the UK a couple of weeks ago. I've been using it. Uh, it's good, but there are some problems and I will explore that. Right, so I'm just going to turn the camera around. So here is the Echo Auto in situ. Um, it comes with a unit. Um, it magnetically attaches to this uh, vent mount. Some people have said they don't like that very much, but that's fine. It's also got a micro USB cable that attaches for power, so you can see it here, um, to cigarette charger. Anyway, your normal light lighter chargers that you get in there, I've got an extension of that going on already. Um, it can pair with Bluetooth, but I, I've got an older car so I get it to attach to my auxiliary audio port. Now I got one of these. There is one which comes um, bundled, but I got a slightly longer one because my auxiliary port is a little bit of a distance away from the, the unit there. Right, so the basic principle is that it uses uh, Bluetooth and it pairs with your phone and it gets your audio from the Bluetooth from your phone device and then you can talk to it just using your um, echo wake word to um, to say what you would want it to do like tell you the time tell you the weather open up radio stations open up Spotify music that sort of thing <coughs> so pairing it was quite straightforward um, it's on at the moment so I can say and I'll bleep out the watch word so normally in in situ what happens is I go on here I'll, I don't want it to be draining battery in the background so what I normally do is I I plug it in to the charger port there now one of the things that I don't like about it is that it takes a moment or two to pair and when you're driving along you don't want to be worrying oh is it plugged in or not is it working or not so normally what I would do is I plug it in and I would manually before I start the car which sort of defeats part of the purpose of using it I will start playing something um, so I'm just going to put on LBC radio station and here we go so it's turned on it um, would have paired with the Bluetooth a beating system. we just need one that works it just we, beats the virus, we, just, we just need one okay so that was playing that was playing through the Bluetooth that was playing through the Echo Auto now if I want to play something else Play Spotify. Here's Spotify. So that's worked. So stop. So what's the weather forecast in Letchworth? Alexa, what's the weather forecast in Letchworth? Right now in Letchworth, England, it's 14 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today's forecast has partly sunny weather, with a high of 20 degrees and a low of 8 degrees. Right, so I can do uh, all the things that I would normally do with my Echo devices at home. So I could turn on uh, various devices, so I can say, Alexa, lights on! turned on the short response so I just get a beep when it recognises my command. I'll put in some other um, instructions. Alexa, set a timer for one minute. One minute, starting now. So what's the time now? The time is 9.24am. And then we'll, what we'll do is, um, as if I am in the car, I will... 
uh, change a couple of things. Let's say I'm listening to the radio and I want to change music or vice versa. I'm going to change a few things quite quickly. What I've noticed is actually when I'm using it in the car, it's fine. I can make phone calls on it. So uh, I'll do one of those in a moment. So um, play Radio 4. Here's Radio 4. BBC Sounds. Uh, play Universal Order of Armageddon songs on Spotify. I can't find the album Universal Order of Armageddon on Spotify. And we all have to pull at the same... Play the Mars Volta on Spotify. This is the Mars Volta from Spotify. He's got best in black lungs. Play LBC. OK, here's LBC News London. Here's LBC News London from Global Player. Safely. Lisa, lights entered. out. Rachel Pereira can't see out of her left eye and wants the government Alexa, stop. to do more. So it's been quite responsive this morning. Sometimes it's not always as responsive as it should be, but it's fine. So it's working really well. Perhaps Amazon have issued a couple of updates to make it a little bit more responsive, given that it's only recently come out in the UK. So I'm going to look at making a phone call, OK, and see how well that comes out. Alexa, call my mobile. You have several contacts named Mum. Can you please say the name exactly as it appears in your contact list? Right, so this is a, a slight drawback. So you have it doesn't recognise all of my contacts. You have several contacts named Mum. Alexa, stop. Can you please say the name exactly as it appears Alexa, in your stop. contact list? Alexa, stop. <laughs> right, so you can see an annoyance there that it doesn't recognise my contact list very well. Uh, call Dad home. I don't have Dad home's home number. I'll call the mobile number. Hello, Ros. How are you? Hi. Yeah, not too bad, thank you. And you? Oh, good, thank you. So you can see I've been using the Amazon Echo Auto smart speaker for the car. It generally works quite well, but it's not always that responsive. And one thing you need to take into account is that it uses the data on your phone. So if you've got a limit on the amount of data that you use, I've got unlimited data on my uh, phone plan then that you're going to find that you use up a lot more data and you might come into limits. Um, it costs $49.99. I decided to buy it over five months, so it becomes an almost invisible payment for me. Uh, I, I do enjoy using it. There is the annoyance that you don't just start using the device in your car. I have to work around... Uh, the issue that it doesn't always pair immediately by plugging it in and then starting the audio on my phone to make sure that the Bluetooth audio is paired properly. Once it's got started, it seems to be reasonably responsive. There is an issue if you are driving where there's a lot of ambient noise in the background, it might not be so responsive. It might not be so responsive if you uh, are driving in an area where there is not so much data around. And um, from the examples, uh, when I was using it, um, it, there seems to be a problem uh, picking up contacts and making phone calls. And it's not always really, really responsive. So online, I've seen reviews from Amazon and they've given it a lot of three and four star reviews. Some people are giving it lower reviews. I think it depends on your setup, so perhaps you've got a car where Bluetooth is well integrated and works really, really well. Um, 
but I do enjoy using it. And the main purpose of using it is to drive safely so I can change my music, I can get uh, directions, which I didn't explore in the video, but you can get directions and receive phone calls using the microphone that's built into the Echo Auto and basically use those functions yet still drive safely because it uh, achieves totally hand-free smart speaker action while you're driving your car. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a thumbs up, but there are a few reservations and caveats.